Hey guys, it's your girl Lightwork Goddess and Tarot. Hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed, abundant day. Um, so we're gonna tap in today. It is the first day of spring 2022. We're gonna look in to see what's coming towards you in love for spring. Now take what resonates, leave what does not. This is for all signs. We're gonna jump right in. Father God, spiritual guides, ancient ancestors, please come into this reading for my collective. Let this be a message of love and light. Please keep out all the vibrational dark demonic energy as it's not welcome in my spirit or the collective. And so it is as it be, amen, I'll say. All right, guys, so let's jump in and get the overall energy of what's coming towards you for spring 2022 in love. All right, spirit, what's coming towards my collective in spring in love? Who or what is coming towards them in love? I just heard divine partnership for some of you guys. Dreamy eyes. Okay. You are very close to achieving your goal. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Capricorn. Capricorn could be coming towards you. Believe in the impossible. Some of y'all is like down on love. Y'all like over it. Y'all been through some shit. You like, it's whatever. But Spirit is saying you're very close to achieving your goal and the end of a tough cycle approaches and believe in the impossible. So there's a need for you to believe and have, um, I'm seeing, stay optimistic about your love life um, and believe that something good is coming towards you even after a time of what seems to might have been disappointment, uh, heartbreak, failure. <laughs> um, nothing is yet set in stone. And surrender to the divine. We're back of the deck. It's time to release negativity, Scorpio. So there's an energy of needing to release negativity in order for, and that's what's hidden from you with the back of the deck. There's an energy of needing to release negativity in order for something positive to come into your life. Now, this could be a person. This could be past experiences. This could be trauma. This could be a way of thinking when it comes to love. But nothing is yet set in stone, but the mental energy is believing the impossible. And overall, surrender to the, surrender to the divine. Give it to God. Some of you guys are like really focusing on the past or focusing on a connection that didn't work out and it's time for you to let that go now face your shadow and do things in moderation some of you guys are very close to achieving your goal but you also might be trying to move too fast when it comes to your healing maybe you are not fully um healed from certain connections and you keep jumping into situations and getting the same results so it's time to do some inner shadow work maybe take yourself off the market for a little bit and do things in moderation you don't gotta move so quickly with people you know maybe um You've just been having some hard times when it comes to love. And now it's time for you to really take the time to think things through and look forward. Now, live your soul, not a role coming out under the end of a tough cycle approaches. I feel like you're going to be living in your truth. And that soul energy always gives me divine counterparts. So believe in the impossible. But some of you guys are struggling to shine your light. I feel like you guys have been hurt, collective. And you're just really giving up. Like, you're like, I'm over it. Like, I'm going to be alone forever dudes ain't shit women ain't shit f the f love f love you know what i'm saying my heart big but it beat quiet type of energy now nothing is yet set in stone be decisive so mm, but accept disappointments gracefully see some of you guys may have been in a connection with somebody or been dealing with somebody that disappointed you but it's like spirit is saying now when you go move on in life it's like everybody's a lesson not everybody is meant to remain in your life and nothing is yet set in stone so be decisive about what you want put up your boundaries and have standards and accept disappointments gracefully if somebody does doesn't rise to the occasion just let them go and keep moving surrender to the divine retreat some of you guys it's time for you to retreat address your addictions um maybe you guys have some codependency um i know i have a struggle with that at times um and surrender to the divine and just really retreat now this is the full moon energy with full moon in scorpio as well there's a lot of full moon energies and we just had full moon in virgo um on march 18th so some of you guys are surrendering some of you guys are praying some of you guys are releasing negativity there's major changes coming in for spring new things blossoming and blooming but you have to let go of the past in order for that to come um, so some of you guys are definitely in a retreat hermit mode taking some time to yourself i'm here and taking yourself off the market trying to get your shit together yeah wake up call you guys have had some sort of wake up call when it comes to maybe you how you're showing up in your connections the type of partnership you want the type of people you want in your life let's get some more who's coming towards my collective for spring 2022 in love 
minimalist white. So somebody who is very simple. Somebody, this is actually means basic, but I don't think this person is basic. I feel like this person doesn't ask for a lot. They're very simple. They could be very practical. They could be very clean cut. They could like middle, like they could like minimalist fashion. They could like, like they could be a minimalist, like somebody who doesn't like to spend a lot of money. Someone who has like a very chic, modern type of house very clean very organized who's coming towards my collective oh pumpkin spice somebody who's gonna make you feel warm and you, this person might ask you out for coffee or something someone who might just be trying to see what's up with you someone who makes you feel very cozy very safe verified blue oh somebody who's verified some of y'all got somebody popping coming in your life or in love or somebody might be in them dms but i feel like this is somebody who's solid who's gonna be um confirming how they feel about you who could be expressing their feelings for you but for some of you guys it is gonna be somebody popular on social media oh Okay, waves in the struggle position. So this is somebody who you guys might know could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as we do have Scorpio. But this is somebody who could have been struggling with this falling out on top of nothing is get set in stone. This could be somebody who's struggling with their feelings for you for a while. And with that verified blue, I feel like this is somebody who's coming through to be like, yep, yeah, I checkmate. I do feel like this for you. Now, back of the deck is that A plan. What's hidden from you? Oh, you got a masculine with that corporate blue. Could be a boss coming through with that with that eggplant, trying to get you that eggplant. <laughs> I mean, we know what time it is. All right, Sperry, give me more. Who is this person that's coming towards my collective? For spring 2022 and okay three of wands came out first so we're gonna take that somebody who could have had you waiting some of y'all is definitely giving somebody that you know or somebody who's just been waiting to approach you who's coming towards my collective for spring 2020 so bo 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 Okay, somebody who could be getting out of a serious relationship with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Somebody who could have a family could be walking away from like not fam not walking away from their family, but could be going through a divorce. Someone who could be uh, who could have just got out of a recently got out of a very like solid commitment and has been single for a while. This is definitely somebody who has been watching you heavy social media energy with that page of swords. Who's coming towards my collective for spring 2022? Bankroll long, what it do, boo? Ooh, somebody got a bag. Five of Wands. Somebody who, Spirit said this is the truth, Ace of Swords. Somebody who wants to be truthful to, to you or somebody who could have been like playing tug and war. This could have been somebody that you felt like it was never going to work out with. Somebody you feel like y'all was always going back and forth. Somebody who could have been um, self-sabotaging or fighting themselves, fighting how they feel about you. Who's coming towards my collective for spring 2022? The Emperor. Oh, Divine Masculine Energy. Back of the deck is the Knight of Swords. So y'all got an Emperor. Could be an Aries rushing in to provide for you, to protect you, to give towards you. They're going to be very enticing, very suave, very clean cut, very mature energy. Clarify this Three of Wands for who's coming towards my collective. See, somebody who has healed, and because of the healing, they have found balance. So this could be somebody who had you waiting because they had to heal from this Ten of Cups situation that didn't work out with. And now they want to come out and balance shit with you. Now, give me the Ten of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles. So this is somebody who sees that you are in your Queen of Pentacles energy. Could be masculine, could be feminine. Um, that sees you are working on your money. You're very grounded. You're very stable. And they want to see what's up with you. Okay. Yeah. They also feel like you're very intuitive. And they feel like they're intuit intuitively being drawn towards you. It has to do with your spirituality, your strength, the fact that you're funny. You have a great personality. And this person really admires that you're single and abundant. That you're self-sufficient. That you're able to take care of yourself. Some This emperor could have been with somebody who was very codependent very uh um very um uh dependent on them and they like the fact that you're independent now i was just being called to it's time to release negativity this is somebody who could have released negativity and now they want to come towards you page of swords okay this is mm, somebody and their king of wands energy eight of swords watching you very lustful towards you very much all up in their head wanted to see what's up wanted to see how you've been wanted to see if you're dealing with somebody else you could have two masculines looking at you but i really feel like this could be the same person who's just very like lustful towards you as well okay five of cups with the lovers Ooh, now this with the seven of swords now this gives me that this might with judgment at the back of the deck this is somebody who could have went through some sort of karma they could be very regretful about a decision that they made to be sneaky to sneak away from you and make a decision about another lover 
Oh, they could just regret not choosing you, not investing in you when they had the chance. I'm not getting that as somebody new, guys. I'm sorry. I'm getting this as somebody you know, but somebody you have not spoken to in a while. Give me the five of wands. Oh, King of Cups. Somebody's in love with you, but they see you in this Queen of Swords energy. Like, you don't give a fuck about them. You cutting them out. Could be three masculines. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Scorpio here as well. But I feel like this person, I'm getting that it's the same person. They're very much in love with you and very much sad over the fact that they were fighting this connection with you. And they understand why you are, in the, are now in this Queen of Swords energy, like taking no bullshit. Very wise, very much sitting in your power, very much cut them out of your life because this person was on some seven of wands shit. They blocked you, self-sabotage, pushed you away. And they want to communicate about that. They want to apologize with the Page of Cups. Now give me the Emperor. The Empress. Give me the emperor. Okay. This is somebody who walked away from you. Yep, eight of cups. This emperor turned their back on you. They walked away from you. Okay. And wherever they went to, they really regret it. Wherever they invested into, they didn't get their return out of. Now they want to give you this ace of cups. They want to give you their full cup of love because they feel like you are truly their match. Okay. Yep. This person wasn't hanged, man. When they was in this regretful, sneaky energy, the hangman fell on top of the seven of swords. They were in hangman, not knowing where to go, who to choose when they picked um maybe somebody else over you. Cause we do have that 10 of cups in reverse. Okay. What do we got? The empress. So this person feels like you are a, a, a perfect match for them. You are their divine counterpart. And this person knows they rejected you with the Four of Cups. So now they want to rush in woo, with this Knight of Swords energy and make things right. Knight of Cups to apologize. Coming in quickly to kind of woo you, take you out on a date, kind of um show you how they feel about you and take a massive leap of faith. Like, listen, this is somebody who might be giving you, look at that with the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. This person might be giving you an ultimatum. Look, I ain't trying to play with you no more. I didn't know what I wanted back then but i'm ready now and i want us to take shit to the next level now let's just check really quickly what is this person's um intentions they want to manifest a higher level relationship the magician with the higher font manifesting marriage manifesting a long-term commitment this person could have got with somebody and seen that like yep seven of pentacles again where they went they didn't get their return they realized that's not their match and this person now wants to come back and make shit right with you yeah this emperor knew that they was holding back once again the emperor four of pentacles high priestess intuitively being drawn towards you okay because there's in a king of wands energy that's coming out somewhat karmically okay now they want to move towards calmer waters and death in reverse they want a resurrection with you they don't want this ending okay this person's no longer in hangman about the empress oh so it comes they know what they want they know you're their person they tried it with somebody else i'm hearing it didn't work out now they're not holding back spring has sprung they coming to get their baby let's get some romance for who's coming towards my collective for spring 2022 Reconciliation, a true love is coming back from your past. Someone from your past is coming in to express themselves. Okay, this person really wants forgiving and learning to move on. This person really wants you to forgive them, really wants to talk about everything that's happened, why they were MIA, why they ghosted you. This person might be coming in to tell you, like, I was having money issues, like, I had a lot going on, da 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 da, yada yada yada. I had to let go of my ex, blah blah blah. But I see you really loving yourself. This person's gonna talk about the fact that, like, you really are looking good. They've been watching you on social media. You're like, drawing this person in because you're no longer chasing them you've been focusing on you now we have codependency didn't i say codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so what wedding this person could have been married or they're coming in to want to marry you and that could be why they want you to keep an open mind so there is some need to kind of release negativity and codependent natures maybe you were too codependent when you were dealing with this person or this person was and now you guys are both learning to love yourself more Okay, new love and separation. So when you were separated from this person, you could have started dating somebody new and that may not have worked out or this person could have done so, okay? 
but they're coming in to reconcile. Yep. And this, because this was worth waiting for. This was divine timing. You and this person, this is giving me heavy soulmate energy. You guys were meant to separate and go date somebody else to learn yourself, love yourself, to have a wake up call, to release negativity, to let go of control issues, to let go of codependency. And now your love life is going to ascend to a higher level with this engagement. Okay. Yep. Some of y'all getting engaged. Okay, let's get some messages from your person. Messages from this person that's coming into my collective for spring 2020 soon. Okay, I played myself. This person feels like they played themselves. This person feels like not choosing you, they played themselves. Okay, give me more message to you you dodged a bullet with this one so this person was in karmic energy they didn't know what they wanted they would have only hurt you so the fact that you walked away is you dodged a bullet now this person is coming in wanting to be sexual okay future begging to be back with you stay with me don't go so in the near future this person is gonna be begging to get back with you stay with me don't go i miss you i love you i made a mistake i wasn't in my right mind I'm an asshole. I'm a dickhead. Okay. I feel like you're going to be like, maybe. You're not going to know if you should take this person back. Okay. Because some of y'all might be in the energy of thinking this person only wants sex or you might only want sex. Now, I feel like you're very positive and someone here could be a Leo, but I really don't feel like this person just wants sex. I'm not getting that. You might be on that type of energy with this person right now. Now, this person thinks you're mad funny. They think your personality is amazing. This person is very pressed. And what did I say? I'm an asshole. This is somebody who's like, they're feeling like with you, they were an asshole. Look at that. Young love. This is definitely someone from your past. When we have divine feminine, they see you as the divine feminine or they're the divine feminine. But I am getting a masculine energy. Okay. competition this is definitely somebody who could have put you in competition okay and they feel like you were the right love at the wrong time well worth waiting for it wasn't the right time for you guys to come together this person has been depressed since you guys separated and they want to start over they feel like you and them were a missed opportunity they were very confused when they were dealing with you and we have spirit baby yo i keep getting spirit baby some of y'all are meant to have a baby with this person okay now this person could be a cancer and this person fears now that you have too many options okay they could also be an aquarius as well drinking to numb the pain and seeking tarot readers and psychics listen this person is drinking over you they going to tarot readers psychics they're trying to see what's up with you how do you feel about them they know that they broke your heart and that's been weighing heavy on their conscience i'm hearing someone could be a libra and their blessings have been brought blocked also okay now the grass was not greener okay wherever they went it was not a better option for them Okay, this person was in a very 3D state of mind. Okay, so now they're coming in to say, I need you. Okay, they want to be committed because they love you. And this was all divine intervention. This was all spirit. Why did I do this? This was all spirit coming through to block this person from you because they were not in their, their in a high vibration at the time. They were sneaky. They were in seven of swords energy. They were in king of wands energy. They were very sexual. So now they had to learn this lesson to release negativity so that they could come in and tell you how much they love you. It's actually kind of sweet, guys. I know y'all don't be wanting to hear about your exes like that, but... But, you know, I'm just a tarot card reader. Now, let's try to get some indicators of spirit. Let's say weeks. How many weeks? Let's try to get a month and a day. Okay. Let me try to get a month and a day. When is this person, could, could when could this person most likely be coming in for my collective? Okay. April 6th for some of you guys. Or June 4th. Okay, yep, they see you as a queen. Look at that, the queen and king of cups. The lovers. Give me some more. Month and a day, month and a day for spring for my collective. Oh, ace of cups. Hey, no, that's um ace of pentacles for me. Yeah, solid love offer coming in, spirit is saying. Give me some more indicators for a month and a day where this person could potentially be coming in. Okay, this could be two weeks or two months or April 2nd. 
okay? I'm also seeing three, so it could even be March 24th, which is in a few days, or April 3rd. So for some of you, a lot of you guys, I'm also getting August, March, some of you for before the end of this month, or June. So guys, it's it's coming in pretty quickly. I'm getting a lot of April energy. Some of you guys are going to hear from this person in April. Some of you guys, June. Some of you guys, August. Some of you guys, by the end of this month. Don't quote me on that because I'm just a messenger and energy can always change. All right, let's get some final energy from this person. You look like a shit show. This person is a mess without you. They're, they're really just really going through it without you. They don't know what to do. I'm hearing that song by Chris Brown. I don't have a clue what to do when it comes to you. Baby, you're so beautiful. Every time I bring you, girl, you blow me off. It's so unusual for me to be waiting. But I don't want to blow this girl, so you should know this girl. Oh, I'm not trying to be the one to mess this up. Because I don't have to be in love before. Baby, I'm going to leave that up to you. This person's going to leave it up to you. It's dark and you can't see a thing. This person's all up in their head. Okay, they, they're, they're in darkness right now. They feel like you are the best thing that ever happened to them. This person is full of shame and regret and guilt. They just want you to forgive them so they can let go of these feelings of, of guilt that they have. This person is going to be coming in like, I'm going to make better choices but like i'm gonna leave it up to you i'm not gonna force it you know what i'm saying i'm i'm here if you want me now this person is also with the shmoney we, we did have an emperor and we did have the empress so this is somebody who is financially stable and somebody who takes pride in being able to provide okay this person is fucking obsessed over you okay all right and they haven't been talking to anyone or talking to you they don't know what to say okay this person feels like they would be winning with you and they see you winning okay they're very grateful for you they want you to know how grateful they are for you and they might come in trying to take you on a trip or something this person might want to go on vacation and they just love you they want you to know that they love you now i just had something come into my mind um to try to do like a random name generator to try to get some names i've never done this before let's see random name generator how many let's just do that let's do either all categories generator name okay They're giving me the most weirdest, weirdest freaking names. Okay. We have Christy, Harrison, Jamie, Hill, Alan Salazar, Rex Barrett, Lionel Pope, Benny Frank, Brad Moss, Darla Nunez, Jesus Quinn, Fanny Robinson. Let's see. We also have uh, Peggy, Francisco, Everett, Philip Martinez, Johnny Copeland, Larry Peterson, Francisco Roberts, Amber, Madeline, Melissa, Gary, Tanya, Neil, Lena, Mitchell Cohen, Paula Campbell, Kayla Snyder, Pedro, Constance, Chester, Morton, Tanya, George Thompson, Stacy, Antonia, Bernard Goodman, Whitney Schneider, Carrie Myers, All right, we're going to get some random Zodiacs. This is fun. I should do this in all my readings. Okay, we landed on Sagittarius. Oh, Scorpio. Big Scorpio energy, y'all. All right, Scorpio. What else, Spirit? Y'all, it's right in between Scorpio and Libra. Guys, big Scorpio energy going on here. One more, Spirit. I'll do, I'll do two more. Cancer. Didn't cancer come out? Cancer. We'll do one more. Aquarius. Didn't Aquarius come out? Wow, this is super cool. It's first, let's do it one more time. Okay, Libra came out again. So those are some signs that you or this person may be. Let's go ahead and uh, bookmark this really quick. 
I also want to do um, some random dates. Let's see. March 28th, May 5th, September 5th, September 21st, and December 29th. We'll do it again. April 22nd, June 27th, September 5th, October 16th, and November 23rd. So guys, that is what I got for you. I hope this message resonated. If it did, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.